violence and other kind of violence. What's good, YouTube? It's a Black Gen Z mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe, and let's get into the video. There's a killer on the loose in Milwaukee, and the victim's family says the man wanted for pulling the trigger should have been locked up at the time. Fox mm. 6 investigator Brian Polson shows you why one of Wisconsin's most wanted criminals keeps getting caught, then released, and the one factor that makes this case different from the Waukesha parade attack. Yeah. It doesn't take a sophisticated assessment tool to see this person is dangerous. Wow. This is what these super gremlins are doing. Just emptying the clip. For one, I don't know why you would use your right hand and cross over. But that's what they're doing, man. It's a complete menace of the city. The trick is measuring that danger in dollars. Money ultimately at the end of the day does not equate to safety. And that explains why Kenneth Twyman is a wanted man again. It makes no sense whatsoever to me. This woman we'll call Mary is worried. We don't know Kenny's last next move and that's a, that's a fear for us. That's a great fear. That's why you're talking to me in the dark here. Yes, exactly. Last month outside the quick mart near Fond du Lac and Locust, someone shot and killed her nephew. 24 year old Tavon Luckett. What happened? What happened? Her confusion turned to anger when prosecutor. Boy, this man looked like he got like all type. He he looks slow. He looks short bus ready. No offense to all the all the slow people, but dude is just <laughs> like the buck teeth. The his whole face just looked like. Down syndrome, respectfully. Prosecutors charged Twyman with homicide. Four outstanding warrants, four felony open cases. In 2018, police say Twyman led them on a high speed chase, crashed into an SUV mm. with a mother and three young children inside, then ran off into the darkness. Wow. Inside his car, police found a half pound of marijuana, cocaine, heroin, scales, mm. a gun, ammo, and seven mobile phones including one that contained videos so concerning. Never seen such reckless behavior in my days. Twyman quickly became one of Wisconsin's most wanted. Wow. This is crazy. And this guy got multiple cases, multiple charges dating back to 2018. They still ain't locked them up. Alleged bodies on them. And this is how it's going, guys. And he's not alone. He is not alone, okay? There are a lot of super gremlins out here who got multiple charges who are on the same type of demon time activities that this super gremlin is, and, you know, they're free to this day. They're free to this day. U.S. Marshals are asking for your help locating this 19-year-old Milwaukee man. After Fox 6 News featured Twyman's story in December of 2018. Tonight... That suspect is in police custody. U.S. Marshals picked him up in Arkansas. A Milwaukee judge set bail at $3,000 cash. And a few months later, Twyman was out. $3,000 and he's out. He was free to wander the streets in Rome to do whatever he wanted to do. Since then, he's been in and out of jail, skipping court at least six times along the way. And in January, U.S. Marshals went to get him again. This time, they found him at his mom's Milwaukee apartment, along with a 9mm handgun, 17-round magazine, two pounds of marijuana, and wads of cash. State of Wisconsin versus Kenneth Twyman. In a digital recording of Twyman's initial appearance, his lawyer tells the court a thousand dollars bail is more than enough. The only other job he has is working with his father at his father's store. Still, prosecutors wanted much more and they got it. I am going to follow the state's recommendation to set the $7,500 cash. That's a pretty substantial amount of bail, right? $7,500? Sure. Yeah. Four days later, I don't want to be on that camera. This man, who identified himself as a family member of Twyman's, paid $7,500. And he's out again. To wow. commit murder. 
On April 14th, police say Tavon Luckett went into the Quick Mart to get pizza rolls. When he came out, he recognized Kenny Twyman and called his name. A witness said the two men appeared to shake hands before Twyman shot Luckett in the neck and chest, then hopped in a car and rode away. Did that cash bond keep your family safe? No. But my thing is, this is what the sisters protested for. Bail reform, you know, <clears throat> decriminalizing crime, okay, <laughs> um, defunding the police, right? All of these things the sisters have protested for, rioted for, promoted riots for, taken donations and, and, and money through charity foundations like BLM for. And now you're getting the result of what you've asked for so adamantly. No, it did not. We are still not safe. We're equating a higher cash bail with public safety, and that's just not the case. Nick Sainer is co-founder of Justice Point, Milwaukee County's pre-trial services agency, and an outspoken advocate of bail reform. If money isn't going to work and money doesn't work, then we have to take a look at other options. But bail reform means different things to different people. The Waukesha parade attack last fall focused attention on low bail for violent offenders, prompting State Senator Julian Bradley to call for minimum bail amounts for certain crimes. How do you pick a fixed dollar amount like 5,000 or 10,000 and say that's the magic number? That's not the magic number, it's the minimum. It's the starting point. Twyman posted a total of $12,500, but still wound up charged with homicide. And I mean, we're supposed to, uh, he got $12,000 a cough up on crimes and he's doing this because of poverty, right? When someone needs to be detained, they need to be, be detained, period. Saner wants to eliminate cash bail altogether by releasing most defendants until their cases are resolved, but holding the most dangerous ones in jail, no matter how much cash they have. Um, I don't know about that. You're held until your hearing date. How do you feel about that? I think that's a very good idea. As it is. I mean, yeah, for violent offenders, but I mean, <laughs> they shouldn't have bail regardless. I agree with that, but the no bail for smaller crimes, I don't think that's a good precedent, but. Mary says the criminal justice system let her family down, but it's what happened after her nephew's death that rubbed salt in the wound. You know that he was going to be there via Zoom. I mean, why didn't you go and get this guy? On April 21st, a Milwaukee court commissioner issued a homicide warrant for Twyman. The next day, he was in court on a different case, appearing by Zoom from his lawyer's office in Racine. Mm. The prosecutor knew there was a warrant, but according to Deputy DA Kent Lovern, she said nothing. It would be in the interest of law enforcement of the end in our interest to uh, not have that information divulged to a subject who is wanted. All they had to do was just pick up the phone and make a phone call. Mary says her family members are grieving, but they are also scared. Who knows what he's gonna do next? If the system won't hold Kenneth Twyman accountable, she says. This could turn into a real gun battle within the city of Milwaukee. The streets will. Kenneth Twyman was actually due in court in Waukesha County on Monday for a plea and sentencing and a felony bail jumping and Waukesha dropping a ball drug possession case from 2021. But with that homicide warrant out for his arrest in Milwaukee, of course, he was a no show here. We're told Milwaukee police have now asked U.S. Marshals to find Kenny Twyman for the third time in Waukesha. Brian Polson, Fox 6 investigators. Kenneth Twyman has retained attorney Mark Richards to defend him in the 2018 police chase and at least one other case. Richards, of course, is best known for defending Kyle Rittenhouse on his way to an acquittal over the Kenosha protest shootings. He did not return a phone call seeking comment. I'm here on the corner of MLK and Frederick Douglass where a shooting just took place. And as you can see, it's a pretty rough area. So I'm basically risking my life reporting on this madness so make sure you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button like the video hell share the video and make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section
to continue the discussion on how we can find solutions to all this sun violence in the streets. On to our big story here at 9. Milwaukee police say they are looking into what they call a disturbing YouTube video about the Kia boys. The video shows teens in Milwaukee recklessly driving a stolen car. At one point, they tell the camera it's going to be a bloody summer. Cassidy Williams spoke with the man who made the video. Cassidy joins us live in studio now, and you asked the creator why he filmed it. Tommy Gershewski, known as Tommy G on YouTube, posted his Kia Boys documentary yesterday. He says he wanted to give the Kia Boys a chance to tell their story, but at least one reckless driving advocate worries it could make other teens want to join them. And she's right. This YouTuber is kind of throwing gasoline on the flame, but he's also exposing it. So I think there are two sides to this story. Um, so shout out to Tommy G for getting this exclusive. I think this is an exclusive content and people need to see it and see how reckless these super gremlins are and see how they actually think about the crimes that they are doing. They, they don't think they, they think nothing of it. They think, oh, you know, I'm going to get off or, or it's, 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 I'm not going to have much penalty like we've seen, um, with these other repeat offenders. Today I'm going boots on the ground, cover a notorious group of kids, the Kia boys. In a 16 minute video posted on YouTube, Tommy G spends time with the Kia boys. You see people running for their life up there, dude? Mm. Several teens show him their typical after. Poo shiesty mask, poo shiesty mask, poo shiesty mask. Afternoon. Yeah. There's another Tuesday it's for another you. Tuesday. You know, initially I was kind of disgusted because it seemed to make just a big joke of the whole thing. Jordan Morales lives in Sherman Park and has been an advocate for safer streets in Milwaukee. You got some cojones, man, that's for sure. Hell yeah. Morales worries the video makes stealing cars look cool. Earlier this week, police say a Milwaukee man was killed after speeding in a stolen car. Mm. I think it glorifies it. Obviously, the host of that um, documentary wasn't you know, he was laughing along with them and making jokes and stuff like that. Do you worry at all this video maybe glorifies the Kia boys? I think you could ask that about any tough question you have to do. Like, I think at the end of the day, I'd rather talk about something, shed light on it, and I gave them the opportunity to show humanity. Or I mean, he's getting a bag from this. Let's keep it a buck. He's getting a bag from this. Uh, he's talking about showing hum humanity in it. I mean, if he if he came at it on more of an exposing thing and exposing the mindset, which he did have some um, jewels in there, what they're doing is very dangerous and it leads to situations like Linda Fricky in New Orleans. Um, it leads to other situations that we see countless times on this channel. Um, so, you know, I, I don't want to go too hard on this YouTuber because he's just exposing what's going on in the community with these super gremlins on demon time. Or to respond, you know, I asked them tough questions and they kind of revealed how they felt about it themselves. Have you thought about how you would spend that time? You only gonna do like three weeks, it's a misdemeanor. You heard them, you only gonna do like three weeks, it's a misdemeanor. They know these laws, bruh, and they're moving accordingly. About it themselves. Have you thought about how you would spend that time? You only gonna do like three weeks, the Kia boys say they expect little punishment if they are caught. They are brazen about violence. Stay dangerous, man. Summer, bloody summer, man. Y'all, a lot of gonna die. Something both Tommy G and Morales hope is heard by city leaders. I think this is something that needs to be covered. You know, this documentary should serve as a valuable piece of intelligence for city leaders to see what the mindset is. Let's get out of here, okay? Gershewski says he'd like to see more money spent on programs to give teens positive things to do. Milwaukee police say they are aware of this video. The department's fusion division is reviewing the content for a possible criminal investigation. Ben? Certainly eye-opening, Cassie Vang. Gang violence and other kind of violence.